of these inorganic minerals are what we're drinking. This is right out of a distiller. Does that look like it'd be nice for our inside of our body? Dr. Charles Mayo from the Mayo Clinic. He's got a clinic in Arizona, one in Minnesota. His quote here is, Water hardness or inorganic minerals in solution is the underlying cause of many, if not all, diseases resulting from poisons in the intestinal tract. These hard minerals pass from the intestinal walls and get into the lymphatic system, which deliver all of its products to the blood, which in turn is distributed to all parts of the body. This is the cause of much human disease. Dr. Charles Mayo of the Mayo Clinic. In Dr. Bannock's book, The Choice is Clear, he says, if you're concerned about arthritis, hardening of the arteries, kidney stones, gallstones, cataracts, glaucoma, loss of hearing, diabetes, obesity, and emphysema, do not drink the inorganic minerals found in water. He just talked about the inorganic minerals. We've talked about 80,000 different chemicals in our water. We've talked about the insects, the bacteria, the virus, the parasites, the dead animals in our water. When I put a distiller in my home the very first week, this is what we took out of our distiller, that's what six people would have drank the first week. And when I got shown this to people and shown it to my wife and kids, I says, look, there's actually an animal hair in there. See that animal hair right there? There's six animal hairs in this bottle of water. And I called the water guy up and I says, how come there's hair in our water this week? And he says, well, I thought we took that all out. I says, well, what was it? He says, we couldn't tell. It's too badly decomposed. I says, well, why didn't you tell everybody I was drinking a dead animal this week? And he says, oh, don't worry. We put more chlorine in your water. So, you know, chlorine's 400,000 times more poisonous than DDT. It's linked to, to a lot of diseases, even cardiovascular diseases, because it roughens up the uh, artery walls in, inside our blood stream and causes the inorganic minerals to start adhering to them because a rough spot makes it easier for things to stick. You may go around 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, 70 years before you have any cardiovascular disease cause you any problems. But if the wrong blood vessel gets plugged off in your heart, they call that a heart attack, don't they? If the wrong one gets plugged off in your brain, they call that a stroke. If the inorganic minerals get into our body, in our joints, in our ears, it causes aging diseases that we don't have any, any cure for. Right here in the laboratory, let's take distilled water through the same journey the tap water's been on and make the light go on it. We'll have to add a lot of things to it. First thing we'll add to it is bacteria, virus, and parasites. I'll wash my hands in it. Five parts per million will make this light go on. And we'll see just how dirty my hands are. Pretty clean hands, huh? The tap water's still hundreds of times filthier than the distilled water. But you know the real funny thing about it is, though, you won't drink this water now, will you? No. Why not? Yeah, but it's still hundreds of times cleaner than tap water. Did you see what your eyes just did to your brain now? You saw something in your water. What do you really want in your water? Nothing. Me too. That's, when I saw this the first time, that's what I decided. I didn't want anything in my water. I wanted clean water. But we can take it a little bit further and, and make the light go on. This is uh, some of the inorganic minerals we get out of our distiller. We'll put some of that in there. We'll put some chemical from farms and factories in there. And we'll stir that around. So that's starting to look like now. Mountain Dew, right? That's what you're thinking. <laughs> Now we'll take it to the water treatment plant where we'll add a little bit of technology to it. And we'll stir that around and we'll aerate it a little bit, just like even Aminsky's talking about there. Add a little technology to the water. The right amount of chemicals we can make that awful looking water look just like tap water. Isn't that cool? Now let's see if we made it tap water. Yep. Now, according to Ivan Aminsky, that's safe water to drink. You won't want to drink it now? Why not? It's safe. What's the definition of safe water? Won't cause diarrhea today. Let's see what we've done here with the TDS meter. 
This TDS stands for total dissolved solids. That means anything that's totally dissolved in the water will show up with a TDS. Now, Ron, I want you to read this for me and tell me what parts per million that says. Zero. Zero, zero, zero parts per million. Now, tap water right from this Ogden City here. Let's see what that's saying. 296. 308 now. 308. 308 parts per million. Now this water that Teresa wouldn't drink, let's see what that was. After I threw all that, that filth in there. 56. 54. 54. It's still, what, six times cleaner than tap water. Can you imagine how much filth is in tap water? If you could see where that tap water's been, well, all the carcasses of the animals, the dead insects, the inorganic minerals, the chemicals that's in this water. If you could see what was in that water that's making 296 parts per million, you'd never drink it. You'd never ever drink it. And you should. We only have 56 parts per million. You saw everything I put in there. You wouldn't even drink it after washing my hands in there. We had 26 little girls in here one night and they all washed their hands in here and still didn't get as dirty as tap water. Still didn't have as high a TDS reading as tap water. Let's check our pots out now over here and see what we've done. See how hot they are. Now this was tap water and this was distilled water. Is there a big difference there between the two waters? Quite a bit. This is just a half a cup of water. How many cups of water are we supposed to drink today? Eight cups. This is eight cups boiled down. That's what you're drinking into your body every single day. Eight cups of water. That's eight cups. That's one day. This is 30 days. This is 365 <coughs> days. And this is 10 years. How old are you? 45. 45. You've run 4.5 goes through your body. Okay, you can divide that out every one of you. That's what your body has to deal with, drinking tap water. Our bodies are wonderful machines, aren't they? They can handle a lot of filth. But after so, much, so many years of drinking filth into our body, it has an accumulation effect. And someday it's going to cause us some health problems. If we had a brand new Lincoln Continental and we opened up the hood, poured this down the oil spout of that car, what would the dealer say to us about the warranty on that engine? He'd say it was void, wouldn't he? And, and he, he should, but you know our water, our, our uh, body's the same way. It says here that even the finest piece of machinery on earth depends on proper maintenance to run smoothly. And our body is the most amazing machine on the face of the earth. It's run on solar power. We eat carbohydrates and they're produced by the sun from plants that we eat. And we reproduce and when we get a cut we heal. We have a pretty neat machine. Does your car fix itself when it breaks? It doesn't, does it? Our bodies are 71% water. There's nothing more important to our body than the water we drink. And if we're putting this much filth into our machine every single day. Are we kind of voiding the warranty on our machine? We are, aren't we? How long are we going to stay in our machine? Till we wear it out. Till we put enough filth in it and we wear it out. And then we can leave our machine. So there's nothing more important to us than our health, is there? We can have all the money we want. We can have all the time we want. We can squander all the money and time we want. But if we squander our health, all our time and our money will be spent trying to get our health back. And water is very important. You're 71 trillion cells, and every day billions of them die. And the only thing that gets that out of our body, the only thing that carries the, the dead cells and spent minerals and vitamins out of our body, is the water we drink. 